My name is Yosef Nissel, and I'm with Ms. Soskin of Maryland. As soon as we found out about the tragedy that happened, we mobilized a group of about four people from Masaskim and two from Shomrim of Baltimore. We immediately called one of the Shomrim members in Baltimore, got a boat, and within about an hour, we were on the road. We got down to Virginia Beach on Wednesday, and we immediately got in the water. This is the boat behind me that we were on. We were on the water Wednesday until about 8.30. Uh, Wednesday night, when we were getting off the boat, the captain of the fishing vessel informed us. He, he was totally dumbfounded how we all came down from New York, from Baltimore, from Savannah, Georgia, from New Jersey, just to come help in the search and to, to have proper cover to mace. And he was just totally blown away about that. So we continued our search on Thursday, going up and down the coastlines until around um, six o'clock. We got out of the water, drove back to Baltimore. We were in Baltimore for Shabbos. One of our members went down by plane on Friday and he came back about half an hour before Shkia. We went down Matzi Shabbos at 12 o'clock and we were down in the water at 5.30, miles and miles going down to the North Carolina border and back. Um, we checked in with the command center, Rockland County Haverim, and they told us to go up north, all the way up north about 15, 20 miles to where there was a possible sighting. So we decided to go, but for some reason, after a couple of miles, we said to ourselves that we should probably turn back it didn't make sense to us as we were going down south the entire, the entire time. So we turned around and went back and we were going up and down uh, the coastline as before. About 12.45, saw one of our other Masaskim teams that were down in North Carolina that took a Jeep. They were told to drive all the way down two and a half hours into North Carolina. We, were, we went over to see them and their Jeep driver called me on the phone and he said to us, if you're looking for anything that is lost at sea, go two to four miles out where the dirty water meets the clean water, the beautiful ocean blue. And over there, there is seaweed and anything that's lost, you'll find out there. Now our Coast Guard radio by this time was already dead. We didn't know what the cell reception was. So we decided we'll go a little further out to sea and then we're gonna head back and probably head back to Baltimore as we were completely, completely wiped as we were on the water for 25 hours and driving for about 20 hours over the couple of days. So we went out about three quarters of a mile and as we were about to turn our boat to head back to dock and go straight back, that's when we were able to find the nifter. And uh, just what, what happened, the reason why we were down there, the reason why the Jeep driver came it, it was totally, totally a nace. We weren't supposed to be going further out. They, the group in North Carolina spent five hours just driving to get to that point and wondering why, why are they doing this? And without that Jeep driver, with, obviously without HaKadosh Baruch Hu sending the Jeep driver to us to tell us to go further out, we would never have been able to find the Nifter at that spot.